Let's check out what happened in Germany today. What a match it turned out to be between Bayern Munich and Hertha Berlin. Bayern 2-0 up, looked like they were cruising. The visitors then got back into it and it was a chaotic late, late win in the end for Bayern Lewandowski scoring from the penalty spot. Lewandowski getting all four goals in this game. Uh, Janar Fjortov joins us to reflect on what was just a thoroughly, just another thoroughly entertaining game today, Jan. Well, you expected Bayern to bounce back after that thing happening in, in Hoffenheim. And when they were 2-0 up, we thought that was going to be a boring 3-4-0. Bayern Munich being there, done it, as usual. But the way Hertha came back, they did very well going forward also in, in Bremen in the, the first game of the season. But unbelievable. And I, I mean, should we be unbelievably surprised or should we impressed of how Bayern defend? Not, mm. or should we take them to going forward? Because still, you need that will to still do it. It's been a long season, a long year for them. And then you've got Lewandowski and you've got Müller doing the slightest touch of, of them all, of that uh, second last goal. Yeah. Four goals. It's like unbelievable. Before the game, someone said he has only scored one goal this season. And now he's got five. I love it. Just like that, it can all change in 90 minutes. And... We talked about this before, Jan, but obviously still the best striker in the world. Well, he's the best number. He's up there with the best number nines I've seen in my in my entire life because he's so I can't do that word. He's so a sharp number nine. Uh, I've, I've said it before by Marco van Basten, who used to be that number nine. And for all those fans, I'm not saying he's better than Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that number nine kind of player, his movements, his, his sharpness. I mean, that goal when he turned around and just found the space to get it uh, past the Hertha goalkeeper, who had, by the way, a fantastic game as well to keep them in there. And he's just up there with the best ever. What's going on with the Bayern defence? What's that, seven goals now in two matches in the Bundesliga? which is interesting because they had more or less four centre-halves out there today. And your boy, uh, the US guy, Air Richards, as they called him in the dressing room there, he's, he, I mean, he so deserved to play. But they got four, four centre-halves. Alaba likes to play somewhere else. Hernandez likes to play somewhere else. I guess Richards would like to play centre-half and all that kind of thing. But, you know, Bayern Munich, they, they are standing, defending very high. And mm -hmm. when you saw that against Hoffenheim, they kind of exploited that, doing the long balls on them all the time. And if you stand so high, you have to be very good at hunting down the player, hunting down the opposition. So if you're only 10%, 10 15% down in that job, you will always get uh, goals against. Now, we have seen so many games where Bayern have won the game, but still Manuel Neuer being one of the best men uh, of, of Bayern. So... Uh, People will see that and think, well, they could be vulnerable. So, Jan, what about transfers? Obviously, the window closes on Monday. hudson Adoy, Chubb Moting, Douglas Costa as well. I've seen all linked to Bayern over the last 24 hours. Well, and, and Hansi Flick has put the Bayern management under some kind of pressure. They are the reign, reigning champion of, of, of the world, of, of, of Europe. And he said... Call me Tuesday and I will tell you what will be our target this season. So he, he loves to have a, a broader squad. hudson Odoi apparently off. They will take Douglas Costa back. He was at Bayern before. They will take him back on a one-year loan. They will get uh, Roca from Espanyol, the midfielder. And they are talking about a swap deal between Cosans, the young kid that they got, and Sar for Olympic Masai. So I think that is what's going on at the moment. But that could be three, four players in to make them like a, a brother squad. And then we will see what happened to uh, uh, Martinez. Will he leave the club? And, you know, they've lost some players. So I think that Hansi Flick, he got uh, arguments that he can bring forward to Salahamidzic, Oli Khan, Rummenigge and Uli Hoeneß, mm. the the legends, the Sopranos of Bayern. <laughs> uh, let's just go back to Chris Richards uh, for a moment, Jan. How did that start come about today? Well, first of all, I, I was a surprise, but it was not a surprise that he, 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 got, he would get a chance because he was excellent last year for the second team. And I must say, I mean, I will look after my Norwegian players, but I mean, U.S. soccer at the moment, you have so many good players. We, we'll probably talk more about Reina and Des going to Barcelona and so on and so on. Uh, uh, and he came on today, deservedly played play that right back, especially in the first half, some great crosses in there. And he looks like a, the, the deal. And you have to be impressed the way Bayern Munich have managed now to get so many young kids 
into their squad. Uh, Bayern Munich being bad at that uh, lately. I know they got him in. He's loved in the dressing room, as I said. They call him Air Richards, both because of his father and, and so on. And, and that he's a great basketball player in the Bayern dressing room. So I guess that he has found his place uh, in the hierarchy at, uh, in, in Munich. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.